first degree black belt. Really? It's a little rusty now. <laughs> I did not but know I that. am. <laughs> I am here today with Emily Haddon, who was one of our vice presidents here at Blanchard and Calhoun, and just wanted to give you guys a chance to get to know her as well as I do. So, Emily, tell me about your morning routine and when it starts, and how long you've done that. So, I have always been a real early bird. Um, I get up at four every morning, um, coffee first, and then usually it's devotion, paper, uh, newspaper, and then I'm working out by five o'clock or running by five o'clock in the morning. Get back home and get my high schooler to school and are out the door to school. And um, I'm usually at the office by eight. And that's usually, the mornings are usually where I get most of my organizational stuff done. Um, check the hot sheets, any hot stuff for the day, that urgent stuff that has to be done. I can do that in the mornings. Um, any correspondence, emails, notes, birthday cards, that kind of stuff is all, the, all done in the mornings. Why morning? Um, I function a lot better in the morning. It's usually quieter around here in the morning and um, I just am much more productive in the mornings. Gotcha, same. Emily and, I, Emily and I are usually the first people in here in the morning and it's just kind of, it is nice and it's quiet, but I've always had such a huge respect for your You've got such a, a great morning routine. So when when we met Emily, um, we she came in. She was kind of working herself out of her her first career and in, into real estate. And one of the hardest things in real estate, I think, is to do this part time. But not only did you come in part time and just absolutely do an incredible job, you were rookie of the year your first year. Tell us what it took to start in a part time environment in this in this industry and do it so well that you were the rookie that year? Um, so originally I went to real estate class because I was planning on selling my house within a year. And I didn't understand the whole process. And uh, so that was originally why I went to class. Um, and then once I got my license, I was able, I thought, well, maybe I'll just do it part-time nights and weekends. Then after I started doing that, I absolutely loved it. So I made the jump into full-time real estate. I was a single mom, two boys in college, and one in private school. So I had to make it work. There were, but the good thing was I loved it. So it wasn't like a job. It wasn't like a chore. It was, um, it was, it was great experience. So. And it, it must have been in order for you to do those things that you did and make that work. If I were going to ask you what what the one thing is that you that most people don't know about you, I know that's a hard question, but what, what could that be? Something that might surprise people about you? Um, I'm a first degree black belt. Really? It's a little rusty now. <laughs> I did not but know I that. am. <laughs> that's incredible. It's a little rusty, but I am one. That's great. When did you do that? Um, in, co in high school and college. Okay. So. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's a great way to remember that for Realty Safety Month. You can come up and teach us all something. I could. I you could. could. One of the things that I always enjoy on Mondays when we get to catch up and we're here by ourselves in the morning is your, your Sunday dinner, your family dinner, which I love that in the, in the crazy hustle bustle world that we live in now that your family makes that a priority. Tell us a little bit about the sharing of that responsibility and, and who all comes to dinner. So it's um, my middle son decided a couple years ago that that was what he wanted to do. Um, and so it's my sister and her family, my mom and dad, and then the boys and I, and we rotate, um, and we either cook or sometimes we'll go to, out to dinner, um, and it's just a time to, every Sunday night, and we just all get together and hang around and talk and just visit, just catch it. up with everybody and see what the week entails. And, all that kind of good and stuff. And your son bought a house last year with you, and he takes he a turn sometimes, huh? He does, he does. Um, not as much, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't either if I didn't have to. And he just got his, his uh, uh, pilot's license, too, didn't he? He did, he did. He, um, he started working on that in high school, and uh, just over the years has either gotten people to give him a gift certificate for his birthday or Christmas or whatever, and um, 
it's taken him a while, but he has really worked hard and he just got his pilot license. That's amazing. You went, up, you went up in the plane with him recently. I did. I did. I was a little anxious when he called and asked me, but, um, <laughs> but once, once, we, once I got there, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. He does a great job, so it was good. Good, good. Well, now that we're in sort of a little bit of a different market, different when I say compared to 20 and 21 and even the beginning of 2022, is there anything that you have done to shift your business? going into 2023 that you think, you're one of the most structured people that I know when it comes to your schedule, which is gonna serve you no matter what the market looks like. But I'm just always curious if, if somebody is as strict on her schedule as you are has done something, then I would love to know what that is. So it was great because in the COVID years, 2021, um, 22, you didn't really have to market and, and promote the properties as much and, um, shake the bushes it, it it was just business was there um you know the end of 22 and then now we've gotten back to you know having to hustle a little bit more and um, get together a more firm marketing plan and um you know buying listing presentations all those type of things so i think we have to work a little bit smarter and harder now than we did for a couple of years but i'll say just being able to list it and it go under contract, that was fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Love that, did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you think, but, so what's your experience with that this year? The stuff that you've listed, has it gone under pretty quickly? No. No, no okay. it has not. Um, and because it did go under so quickly for a while there, and when I say quickly, I mean like within 48 hours, hours right. at the most. You know, if it's on the market two weeks, you have other agents, other people, call, what's wrong with that property right. over there? Um, so it's just a little bit of a different market where it's just slowed down some, right. um, but it's starting to pick up now. Yeah, just so. changes your communication level with your it seller, does. doesn't it? It does. You just have to be a little bit more on your toes. Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, favorite favorite rock band? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. No. You know my favorite country country singer? Who? Loretta Lynn. Oh, oh I like it. <laughs> Classic. I love it. All right, favorite meal? Mm, pizza. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a real good. Have you set your family birth, uh, not birth, beach trip for the year yet? I have. Good. I have. Good deal. I, have. I know. I we, love that too. You guys go every yeah, year. We all go together, um, and we go usually the last week in May, first week in June. We always go to Fripp. That's where the boy, my boys, always want to go. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. We set. I love it. I love it. From an excitement level in real estate, you've been doing this now for how long? Since 2015. And so you obviously Seven. love it enough to stay in it for as long as you I have. I love it. Yeah, and it's <laughs> obvious. It's obvious to us. It's obvious to, to your clients and all of those things. And you do such a great job uh, recognizing them and, and all of those things that you do. What is your, what's your favorite part of the day? Let's end with, if you could spend all of your day doing X, what would it be? I think just talking to my clients checking up on them, staying in touch with them. Um, that's what I like the most. Yeah. You're a natural caretaker. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay. So. That sounds great. Well, they're lucky to have you. <laughs> Thanks.